Hi, I'm Alicia Foxworth. You're watching Rehoboth for You. On today's show, we're at Sabine's Hallway Natural Hair Salon in Brooklyn, and we're getting ready for the Brooklyn Natural Hair Expo. As you can see, I'm one of her models. All the models are inside now, getting their last-minute touches done and having their makeup applied. So don't go away. When we come back, get ready for a great show. It's going to be a great show today, yes, isn't it? It is. Yes, it is. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. The girls are ready and they look hot. Uh oh. Get ready. <laughs> Now those are locks that are twisted. Yes. Yes, 
she is twisted in the updo style and then she's wadded on the side to add a little oomph. Very nice. And I love the skirt. Once again, I love the skirt. Very flattering. And I like that you, you can dress it up or down. Yeah. Uh, Alba right here, Miss Diva. Well, go ahead, Miss Alba. Alba came out. Okay, now that hair is... She's transitioning right now. She's transitioning, so that's a rod set. So she has a curly rod set, yeah. That's And, and how much care does she have to do for that? Not much at all. She so can do some light spray and some um, oil sheets every now and then, um, but she doesn't really have to do much. Next we have Melissa. Now she has extensions in her hair. She is also natural. And I'm wearing that protective, protective hairstyle right now. Now let me just let everybody know, full disclosure, I have a protective hairstyle. Back when I had a perm, we called it a weave. But now it's a protective style. But I love it. Yes, I am protecting like she is. Awesome. I love it. How long do those braids go? Yeah, the braids are all the way down. Oh, wait, she's doing something. Cute. It looks like, like a parachute skirt. Look at that skirt. Look at it. Oh, how cute is that? I love it. When you have spunk, you just gotta let it out. I love it with the shoe, the sneakers. Very beautiful look. Very cute. Very funky. The clothing, once again, is from Sophistical.com. Mama, no, she looked good. Now let's, oh, oh. Uh -huh. All right. She is America's Next Top Model. Oh, how cute is this? I love it. I love a funky print. That is very funky. That's it with the stripes and the um, polka dots, right? It's yes, that is very cute. And the little pop of color underneath the blue. Now let's talk about her. Her hair is beautiful. She has twisted in the middle. She has like a full hawk going on. And it's really thin two strands twisted to the side. And then we took out the, the middle. Oh, so it's a twist out and the two strand twist. <laughs> Next we have Erica. Hi, Miss Erica. Hi. I love your hair. Is that Erica's hair? Extensions as well, the two strand twist extensions. That's all the way down to her waist, past her waist. Right wow. Up. Wow. And it's in and up too. Yes. Look at that. She has a Havana twist in her hair. That's also with the um, Cacalon hair, the synthetic hair. Havana twist. I love it. Nice. nice. I love this. I love the skirt. I love it with the yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what your footwear looks like. Oh, I love it. Perfect. And now, tell me about this hair. Two strand twisted. And she's also, um, she pins it so to make it look like she has a little curl going on to it. It's very intricate look. I love it. Also, also by Tamara. Accidental model. How cute. She has sister locks in her hair. Oh, wow. And they're very fine. Now, what are sister? What's the difference between the regular locks and sister locks? Okay, so sister locks, you have to be certified to do them. Um, the least amount of locks that a client would have in the hair is from 300 to 1,000 locks in the hair. Oh, wow. Several days to get done. Anywhere from two to five days. And are they forever? Um, pretty much. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, oh, she has a bun in the oven. <laughs> How cute. That is a beautiful flower, too. I love it. All the, the outfits are done by Sophistafunk.com. Hair by Sabine's Hallway. And that says twist out. Is it? Yeah, well, it looks like a Bantu knot out. Yes, it is. Yes, okay. Yes. Oh, that's Hair that was all rotting up. Yeah, she was really good for us to stay underneath the dryer. So, oh. Now, it's 
Now, do you recommend sister locks on young girls? Because I noticed both girls have sister locks. Oh, they hang out with one another. Oh, so they want with the other. Yeah, they had it. They don't like to comb their hair, so they have sister lock now. That's right, Grace Ann. Is that is that um, easy to maintain? It is easy to maintain. They only have to come into the salon anywhere from four to six weeks. Oh, nice. It seems like it grows faster. Does it shed? Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. So they can go around. The, yes. Okay. So we this dress right is gorgeous. Yes, it is. Can you see the pink underneath there? Pop a color. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. I love it. That's awesome. I love this with the little rosettes. Now, are these sister locks? Who has sister locks in her hair? I'm getting good. Yeah, she has a little piece of it in the back is shaved off and she's all funky up. I think you can wear these anywhere. Yes, you can. You can pretty much wear them anywhere, right? And so here we are at the Brooklyn Natural Hair Expo. I'm with Sabine Bellevue of Sabine's Hallway Natural Hair Salon in Brooklyn, New York. And Sabine, that was quite the show that you put on today. It was, it was. Thank you very much. Yes, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. The ladies did very, very well. Yes. They were great sports. Oh, of <laughs> yes, course. They were. Speaking yours truly, of course. Yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> so listen, you have a natural hair salon in Brooklyn, and a lot of people want to know, uh, why does a licensed cosmetologist focus on natural hair when women are sitting on the steps of their houses braiding hair outdoors in the summer? Why a natural salon? Well, I got into the natural hair just because um, it was it, it suited me better. Mm -hmm. um, I became natural about 20 years ago, and I was still doing relaxers and everything for other clients, but when they saw I was... I had transitioned, they too wanted to transition. And I also noticed that um, I'm better at doing natural hair than I was at relaxed hair. So it just made sense for me to go natural well, and I'm do a natural hair salon. 
Okay, well, I'm impressed that you actually impacted your clientele so much that they wanted to follow suit. So you must have been wearing some serious styles. Yes, yeah, so when I would braid my hair in cornrow styles okay. and add in some extensions and do the little twists and stuff, they also, they really wanted, they liked it so much that they wanted me to do their hair the same way. They always wanted the same style that I was wearing. That's cool. That's so cool. So where do your customers come from? I know you're not just servicing people in Brooklyn, New York. No. So we have various clients come from Bermuda. We come from Jersey. I have clients from Connecticut, um, the Bronx, Queens. So they travel. When You know, if you like something... Yeah. You know, you like the people that you're dealing with, you will travel for, you know, to receive mm -hmm. that service. As a matter of fact, I think I met someone here today from Texas, and she was saying how wonderful it is to have her hair done by Sabine yeah. Bellevue. Yeah, yeah. So That's a long it, way to come for some, you know, natural hairstyle. Yes, yes it is. It is. <laughs> I am I am grateful. I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what you specialize in because I know that you put a lot of emphasis on the natural hair follicle and the health of the hair follicle. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So I am into natural hair care itself. Um, so believing in that, it comes from within, you know. So it's about the diet and everything that the person eats and um, as well as the stress that's in their lives. So I... I consult my clients about what's going on with their everyday life so that way I can better direct them in their natural world or in their natural state. Yeah. Well, I know in addition to being a licensed cosmetologist, you've also studied psychology? Yes, I did get my bachelor's in psychology as well because I deal day to day <laughs> dealing with people and talking and I love to help people and counsel so I do that on a day to day basis and why not, you know, master in it. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. well, you know, she is a master at helping people and getting them into a better lifestyle. Um, talk to me about some of your concerns with regards to relaxed hair. You're natural now. You have been for over 20 years. Uh, people are still using the hot comb. I don't know if you remember the hot comb. <laughs> my mother used to put yes. that in my hair. Yes. And women are still relaxing their hair with chemicals. What are some of your concerns about that? Well, a lot of women are now transitioning, and while they're transitioning, they tend to um, get their hair pressed okay. and straightened, yes. but what they seem to not understand and that they're doing it so much, it tends to change the texture of the hair. So it'll make the hair much straighter and it'll stay straight. So it's kind of like doing a relaxer. You know, so they continue to keep doing it, it tends to break. So I have a lot of clients that come in damaged from the flat iron and the constant flat ironing, you know, every day. And that puts the stress on the hair, and, you know. So after a while, so yeah, you actually advise them not to do that? Yes, I do advise them not to do that because they, they tend to put too much heat to it. So you do the flat ironing and then they're blowing it out pin straight and it causes it to break and change the texture of the hair. So it's no longer going to be, quote unquote, your kinky hair anymore or your curly texture anymore because you're changing the texture of it. Wow, that's with amazing. And then we have the, the issue with the relaxer is that they're not putting them on properly. Um, sometimes because of these home kits, mm -hmm. you know, so they're using the no lie, and, which is a lie, and, <laughs> um, you know, and that's damaging their hair. So they're going over, they're over-processing their hair, and that's causing it to break as well. And then, we're, you know, technically we don't know much about the, um, the scientific behind the um, relaxers as far as to what it's doing to our bodies. Okay. But I have seen a lot of women are, you know, balding in the middle and going through a lot of stress because of, you know, I'm relating it to the chemicals. The, yeah, chemicals. It's Since a stress and chemicals, bad combination. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what are some of the tips that you give to your clientele so that they can do their transitioning without a lot of hair loss? Well, I tell them to condition their hair a lot, so they have to make sure that their hair is moist. Um, so they use water-based products, um, as well as not to mess with your hair, you know, manipulate it as much, and like with the stress of um, maybe putting on tight weaves or tight braids, and um, just to pretty much do freestyles, like two-strand twists, rod set. And so, give the hair a rest. Yes. And I believe you refer to those as protective hairstyles? Yes, those would be considered protective hairstyles. Any style that you are not manipulating on a day-to-day -day basis. Wow. So styles where they would last like a week, 
or more. Okay. And what are some of your male customers looking for when they come to your salon? I noticed that you have a lot of gentlemen that come to you as well. Well, they, they too come in for moisture. They do complain sometimes that their hair is really dry, which is sometimes can be funny to some, but they come in and tell them, complain that their hair is dry um, because they're not into really putting in a lot of products and stuff because we find that more so women are more like the product junkies um, and guys are not. So they come in for steam treatments and, you know, yeah. Okay. And I know you also have a lot of celebrity clients they need a lot of flexibility in their looks that they have to have on stage, on TV. How do you uh, advise them as far as how to style their hair? So that too, it will be like considered protective styling, which is what we would advise them to put in. So you will see them with wigs or with weaves and, you know, um, you can do braid styles. It all depends on what shoot they're going for, what, you know, depends on what they're doing as well. So. Okay, so if I'm a talk show host and I'm on TV every single day... Yeah, so you definitely have to make sure that you're coming in to get your treatments, making sure you're get, keeping up with your trends. So. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Now, I know you also are the CEO of your wellness center. Yes. And yes, you host yes. several workshops throughout yes. the course of the month. Yes. What's coming up on your calendar? We're going to do a health expo. Well, a health workshop, and that workshop is going to gear towards a holistic detoxing. Yeah, so and we're going to cover a few more other things we have to add on to the. But you're going to look for it on, on my website as well as on the um, blog or Facebook. That sounds wonderful. Well, her information is right there on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. To get more information, visit SabineHallway.com. Sabine Bellevue, we thank you for being on Rehoboth for you today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I have Joanne here with me today. She was our model for Sabine's Hallway at the Natural Hair Expo. So Joanne, tell me, what kind of style are you wearing today? Well, today I'm wearing a pompadour with extensions. Mm -hmm. um, it was done with kinky, twisty hair. Oh. And my hair is natural in the front, and she just wrapped it around and did some interesting, intricate styling that <laughs> I could never do myself. And who is your stylist at Sabine's Hallway? Sabine herself is my stylist. Oh, She's Sabine been w. styling me for about two years now. Mm -hmm. I started with her when her salon was on Franklin. Yes, yes. And then when she moved, I moved with her. Oh, great. So, yes. so then she's good. Oh, she's amazing. She, every style she does on my hair has always gotten amazing compliments. My fiance loves it. My mom, you know, she's a little harder to please, but she still <laughs> loves it. And it's been wonderful. And how long have you been natural? Um, I've been natural now. This summer will be two years. Wonderful. Yes. But you look great. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you for being it. on the show. Thank you.
Well, that's all we have for today. Listen, whether you're transitioning to a natural style or you've been that way your whole life, come on down to Sabine's Hallway Natural Hair Salon in Brooklyn. I'm Alicia Foxworth reminding you that in Rehoboth, God has always made room for you. And I'll see you next time.